dear students and my teacher friends namaskar i welcome you to the presentation lecture on cretinism so today is our topic of discussion is cretinism now before we start our discussion on cretinism i would like to show you a few photographs of patient suffering from cretinism so let me show you this photograph this is this one is a cretinism patient okay cretinism patient cretinism patient this boy is also suffering from cretinism now here in this figure uh, on left hand side you can see all the symptoms and the cause of cretinism are written okay so these are the symptoms of cretinism and these are the photographs of the patient now here you can see some facial character of cretinism now we are starting our discussion see uh, thyroid gland disorder affect all major body system so if there is a defect in thyroid gland so <clears throat> it will affect the development of the entire body system and thyroid gland disorder are the most common endocrine disorders now congenital hypothyroidism see uh, uh, at birth at birth if the if there is a hyposecretion of thyroid gland hormone that condition is known as congenital hypothyroidism and this hyposecretion of thyroid hormone has devastating consequences if not treated promptly so if uh, at the birth if the child is not given the proper treatment so it can severely affect the development of the entire body system in congenital hypothyroidism now previously uh, this disorder congenital hypothyroidism was termed as cretinism so this uh, this disorder previously was known as cretinism and this cretinism condition causes severe mental retardation that means the brain and other nervous system <coughs> are not going to develop properly in the newborn and stunted bond growth that means skeletal system and the length of the bone <coughs> is not proper okay bones are not growing properly now uh, now the newborn at birth the newborn baby uh, they are typically normal at birth because uh, when the child with the cretinism when they born what happen uh, during uh, during pregnancy uh, mother's <coughs> thyroid gland secretes hormone and this lipid soluble maternal hormones they diffuse through the placenta and the fetus gets this lipid soluble maternal hormone <clears throat> and there will be a normal development of the child during the pregnancy so when the when the baby is born so immediately the new bones should be tested for adequate thyroid function so proper 
test should be performed to check that the thyroid gland is functioning properly and thyroid gland is producing adequate amount of hormones now if congenital hypo hypothyroidism exists that means if there is a hypo secretion of thyroid gland hormone so the newborn baby should be administered should be given the dosage of oral thyroid hormone for, for the treatment of the cretinism and uh, this uh, oral thyroid hormone <coughs> they should be given soon after the birth and uh, the child will require this oral thyroid hormone for rest <coughs> of rest of his life so uh, during entire uh, uh, during entire his life span the oral thyroid hormone will be required they should be given the doses so uh, the child will be on the oral thyroid hormone <coughs> throughout his entire life okay now once again in this para see a special variant hypothyroidism known as congenital hypothyroidism and this congenital hypothyroidism formally known as cretinism so cretinism or congenital hypothyroidism develop when infant is born with inadequate thyroid function that means if thyroid gland is not working properly thyroid gland is not secreting hormone not producing hormone sufficiently that time the newborn child suffers from cretinism now if this newborn if the cretinism uh, child is not uh, treated properly so there will be a delayed physical and nervous system development okay so uh, the all the body system <coughs> the the development of all the body system are going to affected and uh, nervous system development is also going to be affected okay so eventually there will be a mental retardation of the child now congenital hypothyroidism is completely avoidable with early diagnosis okay so if uh, at the time of birth if a proper testing is done so uh, the doctor can easily recognize that the child is suffering from the cretinism and uh, then the team of doctor will immediately start the treatment for the cretinism and in the treatment as we know now that the proper dosage of the thyroid hormone should be given to the child okay so that's why uh, this is the reason that the infant or the newborns are screened for hypothyroidism at birth okay now once again congenital hypothyroidism so congenital hypothyroidism is thyroid hypo secretion which is present from birth now one table i would like to show you see in this table see some disorders of endocrine system i shown so in our previous lecture we had discussed about addison disease so here all the uh, symptoms of addison disease then today we are discussing about congenital hypothyroidism so here there is a thyroid hormone hyposecretion less amount of thyroid gland hormone are secreted <coughs> from the birth now this result in the stunted physical development 
so the normal development of bodily system is going to be affected then uh, thicken facial features so the face is the thicker one okay body temperature is low lethargy and brain is damaged development of brain is affected and this damage <coughs> is irreversible so that means if once uh, the brain is damaged so there is no particular treatment to cure this brain damage okay so that's why for the proper treatment of congenital hypothyroidism the oral dosage of thyroid gland hormone should be given at the time of the birth okay so this was the congenital hypothyroidism <coughs> so with this with this we have completed our discussion on cretinism i hope you have enjoyed this lecture and i also hope that this lecture will be helpful in your exam preparation and also in your studies my name is manish koshti sir i am from ahmedabad india bye bye namaste